Hi, I'm Lizzie Cundy and welcome to another glamorous, glittering edition of Wags World. Yes, this is the only TV show where I give a red card to the players and a MasterCard to the Wags. Go power! Players, that word says it all. Take this Wag friend of mine while her footballer boyfriend was only at it with the au pair, the best friend and the woman from the bank. Hey, but they say the change did him good. Well, I have to admit, when I first became a wag, I knew that little about the sport. I didn't even suss it out when Jason kept inviting me back to his to see the third leg of the game. Listen, I know you bunch, you're very cynical. You think us wags are all about lip gloss, designer clothes and big boobs. OK, enough said. So many people ask me, what's it like to date a footballer? And I say, well, in the early stages, there were loads of hot, steamy nights of passion. I mean, take one wag friend of mine. She was with this footballer. They were at it three times a night. And then it dropped off. Well, I'm not surprised. Well, they say football is a game of two halves. To me, it's a game of two bottles. Sometimes more, depending on the company. It's true, I was in China White last night. And can you believe it? The bouncer said to me, you're not coming in. I said, I'm not coming in? Why can't I come in? He said, well, sorry, you're not coming in. I said, what is it? Do you not know who I am? I do Wags World. I'm married to former Chelsea player, Jason Cundy. Why can't I come in? He said, it's your skirt. So what's wrong with my skirt? He said, it's too long. I said, too long? If it gets any shorter, I have another two chicks to powder. My husband, Jason, the other night, started talking about the offside rule. I didn't know whether to give him a red card or a black eye. You know, people often ask me what it takes to be a wag, and my answer is always style. You've got to have high heels, a short skirt, and a sexy little top. Take me tonight, I'm wearing my Charlton Athletic bra. No cups and very little support. One thing people are always asking me is, are wags as empty-headed as they look? Well, I'm always being told I've got a lot up top. I presume they're talking about my brain. Today's show is just what the doctor ordered. Yes, it's a tale of a gorgeous glamopus who meets her Prince Charming. But how many frogs did she have to kiss along the way? And how many were from the Arsenal team? Not Arsene Wenger, surely? 